morning, you guys. It is another beautiful day here in the province of Alberta. If you guys missed our last videos, we drove the Icefields Parkway. It was one of the most amazing drives we have ever been on. So many beautiful viewpoints, mountains, animals, and we did some incredible hikes. So if you guys missed that, make sure you guys check that out after this video. After that drive, we arrived to the town of Jasper. Jasper was originally owned by Hudson Bay and Northwest Companies. The National Park was established in 1907. I believe it had 2.7 million acres, making it the largest national park in the Rockies. So we've already seen a bear, so that was very exciting. We've also seen a moose, but from quite the distance, so let's hope we have a closer encounter with a moose, and let's hope we see some more elk as well. But any animals are welcome. Let's hope we're lucky again today. Can't wait to show you guys. Oh my gosh, a moose already? That was an incredible experience. So lucky. I was just talking to you guys about asking for a close encounter with a moose and a mama and a young one just come right up to the car, smell my gas tank, looking right at me, a couple feet away. Wow, what a great start to the day. Oh, I get used to Canada, I think. I can get used to this area. Woo, that was awesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I scrambled with my GoPro and the camera. Ah, oh, that was so fun. It's like living out your dream job. All right, let's go find a close encounter with the bear. Bunch of cars piled up again. Oh, be a bear, be a bear, come on. Wow, so lucky today. So I didn't even come close to making it all the way to Malayan Lake. I've already been out for two and a half hours. So much time with all the elk and the moose. Sammy's still at the hotel, so I better head back. I'm gonna go pick her up. We're gonna get some breakfast and then head out on a hike. Good morning. So Tommy just came and picked me up after his game drive and I found a place for us to go have breakfast. It's called the Wicked Cup. And it just so happens to be right next to the lodge that we're staying at. So let's go get some breakfast. That was a really good breakfast. I'm glad we split the BLT here. It was amazing, but very big. So plenty for the both of us. We're driving to Malayan Canyon now. It's only 10 minutes out of Jasper, which is super convenient. All right, we made it to the fifth bridge parking lot. There's only a few cars here. I thought it was gonna be much busier. So it is really nice. They usually have bathrooms and outhouses before every single trail, which I'm about to use now. Super simple, but they're always very clean. So we are starting at the fifth bridge. It's a 4.4 kilometer loop. It's rated as moderate with 160 meters of elevation gain. So these are the berries we've been finding all over the trails. And apparently they are mealy and tasteless to humans, but bears love these and they eat over 250 thousand of them a day. Anyway, here bear. So the trail follows along the Malign Canyon and the scenery just gets more and more beautiful the closer you get to the first bridge. Not this again. 
So we actually took the high road, so we missed the fourth bridge, but we're at the third now and the waterfall. It's so scary looking down, it kind of just makes your stomach drop a little bit. <laughs> Especially if you get pierced by that log down there. A little tiny swirly, I think they call them potholes, when the water erodes into a circle, it's like a whirlpool. It's like a little tiny one. It's pretty nice, they have fencing going around this whole canyon. Oh my god. I know, you do get pretty dizzy oh, looking. We're on top of the second bridge now. It's actually a 51 meter drop. It definitely takes your breath away. So I just found out that malign is actually French for evil or wicked. And a Belgian missionary actually used the word to describe the river whenever he had trouble crossing it with his horse in 1846. I had to read the sign. I did not expect such an amazing waterfall on the first bridge. The surrounding area is so beautiful as well. There's green moss and you're walking down by the river the whole time. It's a very family friendly, easy hike. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like its own little oasis down there. So we started and went up on the upper trail. I wouldn't even bother with that. I'd just stay on the lower, right by the river. It is much prettier. Wow, look how beautiful that water runoff is. My back has been bugging me since I tweaked it a little bit earlier. Tommy is going to continue on and do the Old Fort Trail solo. Have a nice rest. Thank you. Have a nice hike. I will. See you later. See you later. So when you get to the parking lot, you can either go clockwise or counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, you go up those steps right there and you'll go up and you'll just go straight up to the viewpoint right away. Or you can do the normal route, which is clockwise. It's just a steady, gradual incline. Starting the old Fort Point Trail, it is 3.8 kilometers round trip. I believe it's a moderate trail with 160 meters of elevation gain. I did read about people seeing a lot of animals on this trail. So when you're hiking through these areas, make sure you guys do have bear spray. It might save your life. How beautiful is this, huh? So lucky to be here in the fall when you get all the different colors of the trees. <sighs> it's pretty special. I feel so privileged to be able to travel again and just be out in nature. <laughs> Ready to fall. I've been holding in <sighs> all right. Wow.
Made it up top. I wanna get the best of me. Gravity holds the key for me now. Thing's huge. I think this is the main viewpoint that overlooks Jasper Town. Let's hit those rocks. I want to say a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and for continuing to support our channel. If you're unfamiliar with Skillshare, they're an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning or just wants to explore their creativity. We always want to continue improving the quality of our videos and continue investing in ourselves. I just finished up the class iPhone filmmaking, create cinematic video with your phone with Caleb Babcock and Niles Gray. We'll run through tips and tricks of how we shoot. We'll run through different apps, different settings. The RAWs will be downloadable, so either you can go take what you learn, shoot your own film, or practice your editing. Even though we shoot mostly with our camera, I love developing a set of skills for a useful camera that's always on me. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more, Skillshare has classes that will meet your needs and interests. Right now, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 of you guys who click the link in the description box below a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. And back to the video. We're heading to Jasper Brewing Company to get some beers and some dinner. So we just ordered a flight of beers. We have a couple IPAs, a couple ales, and a stout. Salute, baby. So Sammy's trying the... Rock Hopper IPA, and it is delicious. For a little appetizer, we ordered the traditional poutine here in Canada, and it is essentially fries with cheese curds and gravy. I don't even think I've ever had a cheese curd before, much less fries, cheese curds, and gravy. So let's try it. It really is delicious, though. This is the Bay Blueberry Vanilla Ale. This is delicious, and it's my favorite one so far. It's better than IPA, huh? I like it better than the IPA. Alright, we tried all the beers. By far, my favorite is the Thrill Session IPA. What's your favorite beer? There's many lovely ones, but I think my winner is the Fire Engine Red Ale. Just had excellent flavor, easy to drink. I, I could have several of these, and that's a good sign. How about you, Jordan? My top three were the Rock Hopper IPA, the Fire Engine Red Ale, and the Crisp Pills. My favorite is probably the Fire Engine Red Ale. It's bright and early this morning. We are out and about to try to find some wildlife. There's a famous road around Jasper that's called the Malign Lake Road. So we're off to see if we can find something. Sam, how you doing this morning? I'm good. I'm tired. I'm excited to find some wildlife. So I didn't want to tell Tommy, but I looked it up online and there are only 109 grizzlies in the entire Jasper National Park. 109. So, oh, I think we're looking for a moose. There they are. Oh, elk, 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 elk. Every fall in Jasper is the rutting period. This is the time when the male elk attempt to win the heart of their female counterparts. How's that? Amazing. It's so funny talking about seeing animals and then I'm like, oh, there they are. By September, a bull's antlers are fully grown and ready to display. This male removes the velvet and polishes his antlers by rubbing them on these trees and shrubs. <laughs> Constant rubbing unleashes pent up energy and leaves behind his scent to let other elk know he is around. If you're lucky, if you're lucky, you will hear the elk bugling, which is a loud call to attract cows, the female elk. The sounds they make are among the scarier in nature, yet very beautiful. This bull has tried it all, but still struck out with the females. It's never easy to impress a mate. Maybe next time. 
Why are you slowing down? What do you see? Oh, look, over there, Tommy, a deer. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. We haven't seen a deer yet. Look at how hairy it is and kind of wild looking. <laughs> Ooh, lots of cars. Oh my gosh, is that a bear? Big bear, middle of the road. Why is it just standing there? Oh, it's looking back. Oh my gosh, Tommy, look up on the hill. Another little baby's coming down. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Big one back on the move. Mama and baby, look how cute he is whenever he runs. One of our last chances in Canada wilderness delivers again. How lucky are we, huh? This has to be a grizzly, right? That has to be. We just made it to the Hidden Valley Trailhead. So this is the parking lot. The very end, we believe you walk down this little path here. So this is a four kilometer out and back trail. Whew. It is moderate, it has 450 meters of elevation. It's better known in the rock climbers community actually, but there is a hike, not very well known, so we're excited to explore that. Yep. Starts off steep. It takes you on a journey through rock cliffs, up ladders with chain traverses. It sounds very exciting. It was actually recommended by a few locals, so we're excited to show you guys what it looks like. Wow, this is beautiful out here. I was just looking up there. Did you notice there's large trees? That's awesome. They're all like yellowy golden and lime green. I love it. Jasper's more like rustic and a little bit quieter than like the Banff hiking area. There's only two other cars in the parking lot. After seeing that mom and cub, we're ready to see some more bears. Ooh, that was exciting. For being a short hike, it is pretty steep. So, oh no, I don't think I can do this. I can do this, it's like straight up and down. There's not even a trail here. Oh crap, where do you think we go? Up, up and away. that does not quit. It's just steady, steep. I was surprised to see an actual ladder. I thought it was just gonna be like little rungs in the rock that you go up. Somebody actually hauled a ladder up that steep slope and chained it in nice and safely so the rest of us could get up there to the view. Much appreciated. Good, baby. that it smells like a big stinky animal hey bear hey bear oh boy looks like it's steep again huh almost there wow you make it that's beautiful We didn't make it to the top, there's still more to go. <laughs> wow, but look at these views! Woo! <laughs> My knees are shaking, but we did it, we made it. Top of the world, we made All right. it. Wow, made it on top. Wow, 
Sorry about my breath, but unbelievable, right? a little longer than we expected, but so worth it. All right, you guys, this is our last video in our Canada series. We hope you enjoyed all of our videos through the national park. It was so nice to be able to come out and travel again. We hope we inspired you guys to come to these areas. They're so beautiful, so worth it. And we will see you guys in our next series. is the very first 100 meters and like going back down I'm literally gonna slide on my butt because I would fall on my face if I tried to walk down this bring hiking poles top tip is that your strategy the whole way yeah just one little baby step at a time yeah it is my strategy I feel very safe doing it this way no anxiety dirty hands though Low and steady. <laughs>